Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, uh, fuck. Uh, you know, I grew up watching. Yeah. I... <clears throat> you know, I grew up watching Kobe play. What's up guys? So in this video, I'm actually going to be going over what came in the mail. All right. It's a new credit card that I applied for. So stay tuned for more videos like this one. Hit that subscribe button. But for now, let's go. What's up guys? It's Jay and welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Also be sure to give the video a like. It really does help me out and comment down below with your thoughts on my new application. All right. So anyways, I know I look different today. Uh, you know, I had a little bit of time off uh, for the moment. I'm, I got to do some business meetings and things like that. So um, yeah, so that's why I'm dressed up like this. It's obviously, I like to be laid, you know, I like to be laid back in my videos. But yeah, so anyways, I got this card in on Sunday and uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over it. I'm going to go ahead and reveal the card. And uh, I didn't get a uh, I didn't get a high limit like I do with my other cards. This is my first card with this uh, issuer. So I put out a poll a while back and it looks like, you know, only a small, you know, small percentage of people got it right. And so the card that I actually got that I applied for and I got approved for was the city premier card. All right. Now, obviously, I did a video just recently as explaining why I think the City Premier card is better than the Chase Sapphire Reserve at this point in time. OK, I laid out four reasons why I think it's better just for the moment. Now, I don't think long term or anything like that. The card is better than the Chase Sapphire Reserve, but it is better for me at this point in time because I'm not able to get the Chase Sapphire Reserve. OK, because I still have to wait, you know, you know, 36 more months. So, um, you know, before I can apply for it. And then I'm also over 524. So it really doesn't matter. So I can't get any chase cards anyways. So, so this is the card. This is the way it looks. All right. Now, the reason why I got this card is obviously because of the sign up bonus. It does come with a 60,000 point sign up bonus after spending 4,000 in three months, which is not bad. It shouldn't be hard to do. Um, I mean, that's probably two months of daycare for me, uh, for my daughter. So yeah. Uh, so that'll be pretty easy to hit. Um, now I like this card because it gives you three X on travel. Travel's a pretty broad term. And then it also gives you three X on gas. And so I could actually see myself using this card, uh, you know, just for gas purposes. Honestly, if I choose not to go with anything else, obviously if the, if the freedom card is, doesn't have a gas category, then I could see myself using this card as gas for those particular, you know, for that particular quarter, which will be pretty good because I'm going to get three points per dollar spent on gas. So if it's, you know, $30, then I'm going to get 90 points. Thank you points. So that's not bad for one, you know, to fill up my tank. That's not too bad. Now, the other thing I like about it is that you're going to get two X on restaurants and then two X on entertainment. So I still haven't uh, looked into what qualifies as entertainment, but I would imagine it's going to be a pretty broad thing. Obviously, you're going to like certain events that require you to actually make purchases um, for tickets. I would say like festivals, concerts. Uh, I know uh, I'm going to be going to the UFC um, fight that's going to have, uh, you know, John Jones and uh, and Reyes. Uh, so I'm, you know, I would imagine, you know, if I would have bought those tickets uh, with this card, then that probably would have been considered entertainment. So, um, yeah, so I really like that. I think it's a pretty good card for one of those mid tier cards. Now, this card does come with a ninety five dollar annual fee, and I really do think it it's better than the Chase Sapphire Preferred, to be honest. Now, it doesn't have the protections that Chase has, but I think it's better in terms of earning potential and 
overall i just i feel like it it's probably going to earn you more points than the chase sapphire preferred would okay now uh after those you know three point those two point categories you're only going to get one point for every dollar spent after that so if it's not on travel or gas or restaurants or entertainment then it's just going to be you know one point for every dollar after that all right now the one thing that really surprised me was that i didn't get a high credit limit like i did with all my other cards so my lowest credit limit that i have uh, on a card that i have is i believe it's six thousand now i got below that on this card and i would imagine it's just because i don't have a relationship built with city so the the credit limit that was given to me was $4,500, so $4,500. I would imagine after a year I could request a credit line increase, which I may do it, but I'm not 100% sure yet because I may get another city card here in the future just to pair it with this card. Okay? That way I can kind of, you know, get used to a new ecosystem and have a whole, you know, set of points with a different ecosystem that I could use, you know, at my advantage. So I always like making sure that I have a solid portfolio of points built up. And at the moment I have Chase and I have Amex. Now that I'm able to get into city, um, that just, you know, diversifies my points. And I really like making sure that I have diversified points currencies. Um, so that way I can utilize, you know, however I may need to. So I think this is a great card, guys. Um, you know, obviously the protections aren't all there that, that you know, City used to have because last year they, they started gutting their whole program in terms of like the protections and insurance and everything like that. Certain things, they're not all gone, but they're still there. You know, there's a few still there. So um, yeah, guys, so. Let me know down in the comments below, would you apply for the City Premier card at all? What do you think about it? Um, do you have it? What's been your experience? Do you have any City cards? What's your experience with City? Uh, I'm curious to know because this is actually my first City card, so I'm not exactly quite sure what to expect uh, moving forward in terms of applications. And uh, since I've been approved, my time clock, I get a 24 month time clock. So in two years, I'll be able to apply for the city prestige card, which will be nice. And then that'll be another bonus that I could hit. I definitely do plan on keeping this card um, just because I think it's a pretty valuable card. Um, if I no longer see myself getting any value from it, then I could always downgrade to a city double cash or another city card that's gonna be more beneficial for me. And that's gonna conclude today's video, guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found the information to be helpful, give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it share it with your friends drop a comment down below to let me know what you guys think of the city premiere card all right and um uh, yeah what what do you like about it what don't you like about it obviously i'm pretty sure a lot of it's going to be like the protections have been removed from the card program but yeah i mean let me know still let me know down in the comments below all right guys don't forget to hit the bell notifications down in the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever i drop my next video be a good person be safe be smart and remember credit is your life and i will see you guys in the next one peace